Well, it's um, Sunday, February 24th, 2019. This is just a quick uh, update on the uh, e-trike. Not a lot going on, just just the uh, the notch I was talking about. So I just basically, you know, over the last week or however long it's been since I've done any work on any of these things, I've kind of done a little hiatus. There's not a lot going on. Uh, my sister-in-law brought her uh, the wheel by for her bike and uh, we're still waiting on the battery for her bike it might be a while and it's gonna be in the single digits I mean it's colder than then yeah it's cold uh, so I mean there's I, there's no sense I'm not gonna do any grinding on any of this until it's at least you know above freezing because then at least it's gonna be in, it's gonna be tolerable in my garage I mean there's just no everything is really in low gear but so I had to hand file this to really make it work I felt to make it work the way it should so and I'm not going to file a notch underneath I mean that's just too much work all this notch has to do is just make sure to keep this uh, hose, hose clamp from sliding so that's going to do that really well I mean once I get that in there you know of course uh, that's not going to move once you tighten it down and I'm probably going to do a you know a second uh, hose clamp here just to you know it only weighs about an ounce I mean uh, just for a second measure of uh, retention and that's pretty much it I got a couple other uh, developments uh, in the in the works but I don't want to play that card until later but this is just a really quick uh, but hey this was uh, this took a while to file in so I'm just glad that's done and then uh, we'll just see what the next step is but uh, a couple new things uh, new surprises and uh, but this is it for for now so till next time well it's uh, Sunday uh, February 24 2019 um, I thought I uh, did a video on this but apparently I didn't so on this side of the chain stay I think I talked about it a little bit on my video but I basically drilled the holes on this side and I cut them really close so I used a pipe clamp as a protector so I wouldn't drill through the chain stay and they are really see how those holes are really tight so I actually got a uh, piece of perma thread around around it but it is you know pretty much when you beat the perma thread through there it's got to be for the last time so um, but I uh, just thought I'd document this I thought I had it uh, film somewhere I guess not that's why you post your videos when you get them but uh, this is just uh, this side of it and uh, so it went well it went too well I mean those holes are super tight so but it'll it'll work I did some fab and thoughts and stuff so it's gonna work but yeah so this is just this side of it this side's done and uh, so the next is uh, to grind it but um, so what I can do, but I got to get the forks. I mean, the forks really are key because when I put the, you know, I got the all three mounts for the mount and the battery, um, but I got to get the the fork so I can get it all figured because <coughs> for the wiring and uh, because on my bike I have. And my brother's bike, and probably my well, and my sister's uh, sister-in-law's bike. The controller is going to be mounted here, but you know, if you got all your electronics up front, you know, it may be backwards. I might have the controller down here and have all the wiring up here. I mean, we just have to wait. So it's all just a big waiting game now. But uh, made it, waiting for warm weather, waiting for, um. You know, waiting for parts, waiting for my sister-in-law's battery, but uh, but uh, yeah, it's, and it's not going to get warm anytime soon. It's just a waiting game. Plus, you know, I did something to my thumb. I don't know what it was. If I crushed it, if I slept on it, if I crunched a wire too too hard, or I hit something, I don't know. But it's just now starting to feel where I can actually use it. So it's just uh, kind of a big hiatus. But I'm not gonna. This is gonna, you know, there's gonna be another video behind this. And this is just too little uh, uh, to uh, just. So this is just uh, this, the the only steps that are done is these these holes drilled and this this notch, you know, filed, and that's that's it.
man. But I, I do have some surprises on the horizon that's going to be entertaining and uh, and kind of kind of nice. So um, yeah, so that's it. That's it for now. Okay, so it's uh, Thursday, February twenty eighth, two thousand nineteen, and uh, so here's the surprise I was talking about. Uh, I got a birthday coming up quick, so I kind of bought myself a uh, early birthday present, and here it is. It's a uh, new camera, new digital camera. It's a uh, Canon. Here, let's see if we can't get it under some light. drop it. It's a Canon EOS SL2 and uh, it's you know like kind of a bottom of the line camera but oh man it's got a lot of features. Um, I used to have a Olympus E3 e, or Olympus E20N which was like a year 2000 camera so uh, compared to that this thing you know blows it away and so this is like a 24.2 megapixel. Um, it really exceeds where, you know, on video more than pictures. I mean, it still it, uh, takes awesome pictures. But, I mean, I literally just got it. And uh, so what I'm going to do is just uh, kind of, uh, I said I wasn't going to do any kind of, you know, camera updates, but we kind of are lying about that now. So we got a little camera mounts for all the bikes and here's my little camera for the bike it's a little uh, Vivitar uh, 786 and it only costs like 50 bucks you can get these for like 20 bucks or 29 bucks on on eBay and I asked the guy at Walmart when I bought it I'm like well what's the deal I mean do they work and he says man they work fine I said well why are they so cheap so they're like oh well because they're only 1080p they're not 4k I'm like oh that's terrible so I did some video with this thing, and um, it it it's kind of grainy. I mean, it's kind of cheap, but I mean, it. I think it's going to work really good. And I already got my eye on uh, a GoPro, but this is going to have to work for now. <laughs> the budget, oh my God, uh, man, it just keeps the money just flows like water. But oh man, this this is a lot of fun. So, um, but I actually I I, I didn't charge. Uh, the, the camera I basically just you know sold some some uh, scopes and stuff I had in in the old stronghold that I wasn't using you know rifle scopes but yeah this thing uh, works pretty well um, I should you know post a video from this but uh, that's that would take I think I don't know I'm not not gonna do that but the main thing I want to do is behind this video that you're looking at right now I'm gonna shoot a video with this camera and attach it and see if you guys can tell any difference plus you get a, a view of what camera I've been using the whole time you know doing all the videos so far and I mean uh, so that's coming up next but yeah so man I got myself a little and you know this thing where this thing shines is video you know it looks like a camera but really where this thing shines it's it's the video um, it has all the sensors and uh, all the stuff that the high-end cameras got um, so I'm sure all the high-end camera owners the high-end camera owners are really uh, crying a river because this thing's got the same kind of video sensors that they got so this has got all the the video so you guys I mean there's so many so many stats I, I was gonna give the stats but the stats are just pages and pages and pages long so look them up there's tons of videos on YouTube it's a Canon EOS SLR or no uh, Canon EOS SL2 and uh, and what what the main thing I like about it is the fact that it steers towards video it's got a it's got a you know a screen that flips out look at that man oh yeah look at that man the, the screen flips out and you can do the selfies and it tracks you know people's faces and it'll track anything that you want to point out on the in the video so anyway um, tons of videos on on the SL2 on on YouTube that do it would do a lot better job than I can so anyway I'm gonna uh, shut this thing down and then I'm gonna fire 
this one up and do a little video and then attach them together and see if you can tell the difference. So we're back filming with the Canon EOS Rebel SL2 and uh, so here's the camera that we were using and this is I mean this this camera is probably 10 years old maybe eight years old no I think it's 10 years old this is uh, like an Olympus Let's get some more light Pew! this tripod's kind of legs are kind of close together because it's just easier to move around But yeah, this is a, like an Olympus stylus. Um, you know, I think it's a 10 megapixel and it works great. I mean, it doesn't have any, you know, it doesn't have any problems. The only problem I had with it is when you focus really close, it would shut off. And I mean, you've seen my videos. I mean, sometimes when you, when I was talking and this really key part of the video and at the worst possible time the the thing would decide to go out of focus and make me look like a fool but um, but this thing does autofocus I mean this thing is totally autofocus and you can make it autofocus in uh, different ways you know you can have it on one point you can have it do on someone's face you can do multiple points I mean there's a lot of different ways so bottom line is it's uh, it's hard to make this thing go out of focus. Watch me wire. See? And uh, so I'm gonna see if you guys, I'm gonna uh, attach all the, the videos together and uh, just know that this is uh, being filmed with the, uh, the new camera. And uh, I'm hope. well either way, I don't care if it's a difference, man, I got a new camera. <laughs> and uh, you know, needless to say, you don't take anything like this out. Uh, shoot, well, you can take pictures with this, but I mean, obviously, if you have a better camera, you're going to go out and go for walks and exercise and do stuff. I mean, that's part of it, too. I, physical therapy is going well, and I'm uh, dropped a few more pounds. And uh, so, yeah, we're moving forward, and uh, we're going to be doing some hiking and taking videos and and stuff because it's going to be like a month before it gets warm enough to ride the e-bikes and oh the update on this thing is uh the forks are in america now they're in new york and they should be here in about a week but i got a bid on uh on a heater i mean i'm not going to pay full price for a heater but if i'm going to do anything in my garage i got to have another heater in there so anyway till uh next time uh, next time would be with uh, this thing with the forks on it and uh, starting to uh, put it together and put the motor on.